the woman is from Yuli, and she was called Saturnina. She has one name, and so she is a commoner, but she's literate. And yet, although she could write, she wasn't very wealthy. Why? Because one of her most precious possessions had been a linen cloth, and somebody had nicked it, almost certainly from her washing line. And she was livid, and she panted her way over to the Temple of Mercury at Yuli, went into the temple, and was confronted by a young man, stark naked, nine foot tall, made of limestone, with a hat with wings on his head, wings on sandals on his feet, and holding a rod with snakes coupling round it and wings on the end. The erudite would recognize Mercury. Saturnina didn't. She bought, or was given, a lead curse tablet, and she wrote, I do beseech, the great god Mars. And then she had another look and crossed it out. And she then wrote, no, I do implore the great god Silvanus. And then she had another look and thought, no. And then either she tumbled it or else somebody gave her a nudge and told her. And she wrote, I do beseech Mercury, yes. And then she wrote a blood curdling curse. I'd not have cared to be that thief and it was then handed to an official who put it in a machine that rolled it up. And it was then nailed to the wall, it seems, uh, so Mercury could fly by and collect it from his post box and then go after the thief, if it worked. And it remained there until the temple crumbled at the end of the Roman Empire and the curse written by Saturnina fell into the earth was covered by falling masonry until another woman, Anne Woodward, excavated it in the late 1970s from the red Cotswold earth. And I feel that at that moment, the spirit of Saturnina stood beside her, woman to woman, and the centuries were as nothing.